Hello guys and welcome back to another video and yeah you read the title well, I mean you read the title and I'm just gonna show you guys and say tell you guys how to get better at Black Ops 2 if you play it so let's go hopefully it doesn't take me five hours to look for a match like I tried to do and it just took like 25 years there's no phase doesn't play black ops 2 on 360 if you see people that say phase and uh, if you're on xbox 360 or ps4 or not ps4 xbox 360 and uh, ps3 and if, if they say phase and they have uh, like a cool name and they say phase they're not in phase okay like phase plays on ps4 and xbox one they got FaZe Clan for both, because, you know, FaZe Clan doesn't play on one, you know, thing. So today I'm going to be telling you guys how to get better at Black Ops 2. Now, here's the thing. I used to run two attachments for my primary, one for secondary, then I have, I usually run Scavenger if I have it, but I don't have it right now. Right, here's a good class setup. This is how you would set up a class. Usually try to make your gun a super gun. And what a super gun is, is you you have, like you can have nothing else but just a gun and attachment and a few perks. And like, there you go. I mean, like, I got kind of a super gun going on here. Plus, you gotta move around a lot. Moving around a lot, by the way, actually helps you steady everything out. So, because look at that, I got a 3K radio. Like, nothing. Like, almost nothing happened there. Because, see how I'm, I'm not playing Rush. I'm purely just using my class. And purely all you gotta do is use the tip of the iron sight. So, if you're using the PDW57, the green dot on it. The green dot on the iron sight is where you want to put it on your enemy. You usually, if you have no foregrip for the PDW, you, usually I would say, and look, I'm just doing horrible there because people use target finders, which is kind of stupid. But, going on like this. Okay, I gotta heal up. So, if you use your class the way it's supposed to be used, in the right... If, and you should have a class for every map that you're good with that class. So for say, if I'm playing the PDW57 and I rock with it on Nuketown for say, and I use the PDW57 same damn class when I'm playing for say Aftermath. And then in like, in like Nuketown I get like, um, just say, I get 20 kills and three deaths and then when I go on aftermath I get seven kills and ten deaths well you know you're gonna want to use it on a certain map and you can do that I don't really do that I use the PDW usually like a natural like I'm a natural with it and what that means is I can use it with getting for say five unanswered kills and then die and then get 10 unanswered kills and then die and then get another 5 unanswered kills and then die. That's how I would do it but I'm not like that kind of player. It'd be nice if I had control freaks but I don't. And if you guys have an extra pair of control freaks that you don't use, if you can give them to me or at least like you don't have to, I mean, like, I can use somebody else's discount code from, uh, YouTube. I can use YouTubers' discount codes. And another good thing to use is swaying. So, sway like me, like, go, go, like, um, horizontal, and horizontal's left and right. So you can go like that just to spread out the bullets and move side to side every little once in a while. And another good thing to use is look at your mini-map at least 10 seconds every 10 seconds around and uh... just a sec, I'm gonna have to mute someone uh... mute okay. 
There we go. So, another thing. If you play... Oh, wait. What was I just saying? Uh, just a sec. Okay. So, if you're the kind of guy that, you know, you, you don't do this and you kind of don't do that. Like a little bit. I mean, just idle sway. What that does is it helps you so you don't get so many bullets in like, like you don't get so many bullets impact on you and it will help it just enough for you can get like me like for say 11 to 5 that's not too bad I mean that's the kind of player I am you know like lucky girl that plays black ops 3 you know those, those are the kind of people that get like 30 30 kills and like 23 24 25 deaths lots of youtubers and players are like that and it's not their fault that the they die so easy it's kind of the guns fault for them dying and sometimes their fault but really it's most of the time it's not the guns fault because the way they use it and the way the gun works then that's how you get better with it if you understand what I'm saying another thing is yeah look at your mini map at least five every five to ten seconds because that'll help and another thing they use is if you're the kind of guy that n really never dies and you have scavenger unlock but you're like oh that's just kind of a stupid perk use it because even though you don't, you, you find it kind of a waste if you like toughness or you like fast hands, if you, if you even don't have it unlocked, try your best to unlock it. And, um, Scavenger actually, what it does is it's, it drops, like, every kill you get, it drops a Scavenger pack, which is like a, kind of like a small duffel bag. And you pick it up, you walk over the enemy, and you can get extra ammo. And you can, it's like you have no, never ending ammo, like, it's just crazy, like, and another thing is, if you're the kind of guy that really camps and you, you use a good gun that's really not a camping gun, but you still use it anyway and you camp, you don't, if you, if it's really good with not camping, like if you use a PDW-57, and you're not, if you're a camper, because you feel like you can just get less KD, less kills, all that, etc., etc. Well, don't, don't always trust it. I mean, go for it. Try your best. That's all you gotta do. Just try your best, and you might even win. I mean, you might, like some YouTubers, they went 40 to 0 in Black Ops 2, in Black Ops 3. Looking like I'm, I'm doing a little bad here because I'm not trying hard enough, but as soon as I try, I at least get an assist. But really, right here, I'm not trying. I'm not trying. I kind of suck at the game. Either that or it's just like people, they just use target finders. By the way, right here, I'm just going to tell you. Like, there we go. So yeah, I tried that. This is another thing that's pretty true um I just literally forgot what I was gonna say uh dang it I forgot what I was gonna say I don't even remember what I was literally just talking about I'm sorry sorry guys uh give me a second to think okay oh by the way if you don't use foil grip and it's going all over the place like this use foil grip cause It'll help at least a bit. I mean, like, I couldn't even shoot with this thing. And I, I, I had foregrip, and as soon as I started using foregrip, I could shoot like a maniac. And if you can control that recoil, you're pretty good to go. And, see, I'm not even trying to. Like, I, I have to try. Oh! And another thing, I might have been talking about this a little earlier, but... Okay, guys, I'm just so angry right now. Gee, what the... <laughs> what was that? Okay, so, if you're the kind of guy that wins almost every single game you play, then you're good. You're Gucci. 
Okay, see there, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. So, just try. Even if you, like, I was talking about this earlier. If you're a camper and you're using a gun that's meant to move around like I am, slash slash PDW57, for example, try it. Just go for it. And, uh, by the way, I'm sorry if I might lag. I'm not even using theater mode. I'm, like, playing this as I'm talking. Usually YouTubers use theater mode just because they're just about to show an example of, like, a good gameplay and, like, what to do. And, and if you're the kind of guy that goes on Nuketown and, and you know, you go in the houses once in a while, that's fine. Just don't camp in the house. You don't really need to camp if you're good enough of a player to not camp. I mean, look at that. I don't camp. And I was just swaying. I was idle swaying like a maniac there. And I just got a double kill. I mean, I never get double kills. Never. And I try my best to get double kills. I, I, I'll uh, show you guys how many double kills I have. Maybe even like at the end of this video, I'll just quickly show you how many uh, medals I've got for everything. How many medals in total I've got. I mean, I've gotten lots of medals during this. I mean, like, I've got almost three and a half thousand kills. That's a lot. For a player like me, that's quite a bit of kills. For a guy that doesn't even do really good, that's, that's a lot of kills, man. And if, you know, if you, like, for say, there's a guy sitting in a corner and... You know, you're going to try to shoot him down, and then he just moves out of the corner. Wait there for at least two or three seconds. If he doesn't pop out, move away. It's just going to waste your time, and you have a big chance to die. So I would not, I wouldn't recommend doing that. And by the way, this guy's not in phase, because it, he just died like nothing. So, 8 to 15, fine. Okay, it's fine. I got a... Okay, KD, like, I didn't try hard enough there. You know what, I'll just show you my, uh, my medals right now. If I can find them. Medals. Okay, I got 33 Bloodthirsties, 2 Fury Kills, which is killed 4 enemies within a short time, 19 Triples, 192 Doubles. I've gotten that quite fast because I've been playing really good. 1 Backfire. One bait taken, one hijacker, one three bank, no, two bank shot hijackers, three bank shots, four assisted suicides, 12 afterlife, 14 backstabber, 17 chopped up, 18 drop shot, 19 efficiency, 21 skewered, first, 24 first blood, 33 dead eye, 78 buzz kill, uh, um, 119 long shot, 120 savior, 273 sur survivor. I think that's everything. I'll I'll double check after this um this game right here because I couldn't go downwards, so I don't know if that was everything. So I ended up in survivor, and that was it. So that's that's quite a bit of medals for each one. And you see, this map is a pretty open space. It's got a big long lane. And it's it's really skinny too. Well, not really skinny. I mean, look at the mini map. You see that really long lane almost in the middle, like just li literally right beside the middle. That really long lane right there is kind of skinny, and it's really long. So you'll have a harder time. But usually people go for the sides. They don't go for the middle to try to uh, get behind you and kill you. That's what a lot of people do. That's what I do. I just go for this. I just go for it. I die, I get a couple of deaths, few kills, eh, it's good. And, uh, yeah, I forgot the pro. By the way, if there's a, if you see that there's a, th the, um, what is it called again? Um, Bouncing Betty. You see one's gonna go up. Quick dive, and then, boom, you're, you're good. Just dive, and then wait till the explosion, then go up again. And, um... It's a good thing to use, even for a fact that nobody does that. And look at this, 5 to 2, 2.50 KD. That's a guy that tries, 
and that has played Black Ops series for a while. And I'm if you've seen my Black Ops One video, if you've seen it, I'm I'm not sure if, if I even have one view. But if you've seen it, um. I'm not good at Black Ops 1, but I am pretty good with Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, and for a fact, I play, really, that's the only Call of Duty I play. I play World at War, I play, um, I'm going to be playing Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered by, okay, you know there's this weekend, which is March, what, like me, I think this is March 29th today, so March 30th which is kind of like Friday, March 31st. Yeah, March 31st is um, Saturday. And then there's, um, there's the weekend, okay? There's that weekend, and then the weekend after that, I'm going to be getting PS4, hopefully. <laughs> but I'm going to probably be getting a PS4. So I'll be able to hopefully record some Fortnite... Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Remastered, and some Black Ops 3. Friendly Hunter Killer Drone deployed. Oh, I don't have anything for to shoot that down. I was like, wait, what can I do here? Okay. Oh, they just. Wait, I destroyed the UAV. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. Okay. Dang it, oh, that was so close. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my spawn, I'm gonna throw this down, and I'm gonna run over. Okay. Guys, I just hope I don't, like, die here. Ha ha, I got it, I stole it. I stole it, stole it, stole it, stole it. Okay. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm not a sentry gun player. I don't like using the sentry gun, because I kind of find, think it's cheating. But really, it's not. It's good to use once in a while. If you want to win, and if you need to get a win, like, if you, first say you need to get a win just for a little extra XP, just do it. I mean, like, just use it. Like, even if you hate it, just use it. Even though if somebody destroyed it, like, just right there, it's still fine. Just try and use it. Um, okay. So, the second thing I gotta say is, um... If you are a guy that plays PS4 and you play Call of Duty, okay, just say you play any Call of Duty on PS4. Mainly, almost every Call of Duty is the same, except for Infinite Warfare, Advanced Warfare, and World War II, Modern Warfare Remastered, all the futuristic and non-futuristic games, like more modern or back-in-the-day kind of styled games. If you if you have a scuff controller and control fleets but you never use them, grab them and just just grab the controllers you usually use other than the scuff and the control freaks. If you don't use scuff and control freaks, use them and throw the other ones just out the plane window over the middle of the sea. And then if you use if you have like a style of game that's not your style and you're bad at it pick up a scuff and put those control freaks on it and then you're, you're, you're good to go. I mean like you're really not gonna die too much. Okay, You can die once in a while from it really not too much because control freaks they help your aim and scuffs I think they there are uh, like extra buttons so that's another good thing like they're kind of like extra buttons um, by the way, I'm going really bad here, 9 to 7. I guess, like, what, like, 1.9 KB? I didn't even look at it. Yeah, I'm right. I'm good enough at mathematics to figure that out. Oh, my goodness. See, that that's how you try. You, you see how I did that there? If not, back that up. Like, just go on YouTube and back it up at least 10 seconds from now. Like, even before when I was talking. But back it up where you can see it. That's how you get a kill. And usually I don't go like that. I don't go like that. Because sometimes I just keep forgetting and forgetting. But if there's like 50 people, like the whole, even the whole team that's not even looking, and they're shooting and they're still not looking, just kill them all. Just literally kill them all. But if they're looking, you uh, idle sway. Let's just like this and like this. And um, by the way, guys, this is a fun fact. 
if you aim down sights, more re you have more recoil than if you fire from the hip. So, if you're a guy that has tons of recoil and is just you die lots because of the recoil, just shove on a grip and like how would I say this? Fire more from the hip, which is not even aim. Don't, don't aim. Just don't aim. If, if you run a laser sight, and if you run something good enough, just just fire from the hip. There you go. You, you're good. I mean, l look at my class here. I got a forward grip to help me with the recoil, reduced recoil when aiming down the sights. Okay? Now I have fast mags, which is making me reload fast enough. So I can, you know, if there's a guy like right up the door, if I'm in a building, I reload fast enough. And then long barrel just, uh, long barrel just increases the range and damage, which is, it's a beast. And that's really how it is. So, okay, I gotta go back to here. Long shot Avenger. So by, okay, so, if you, you've seen what I've done. Okay, I got 347 headshots, 414 comebacks. 436 Avengers, uh, 444 one-shot kills, and 448 revenge kills. So if you remember everything else, but if you didn't see it past Survivor and all that, then there you go. Those, that's, that's the medals I got. I got lots of medals. Over, really not over the years. I had Black Ops 2 for a long time, but I, I didn't play public match. I use, I played custom games because I thought if I go to public match I'd pay money. Then I see that people told me that play public match. I mean you're a good player. Play public match. And then I started playing it. I started on Black Ops 3. That's when I started playing public match. I'm pretty sure anyway. I, I can't remember. It's been so long of playing public match. I mean, I'm not Master Prestige, but I've been playing public match for quite a while. I've been playing the public match enough to learn how to, like, move around. I mean, I play on recruit bots just because, you know, some of the weapons they use. I mean, like, like when they use the the fastest fire rating M L LMG, I forgot what his name is, but when they use that, they just, like, they use rapid fire, which increases it so much that you can't even control the gun. Like, you can't control it. Oh, by the way, guys, here's a tip that you should know. Say you're shooting an enemy that's not facing you, and there's an enemy shooting at you. Turn around quickly, shoot the enemy that's shooting at you, go back, shoot the enemy that he might have, he might have not been looking, and then he turned back. That's how you do it, like... Kill the enemy that's the most threat to you. By the way, guys, if you play Infinite Warfare and if you need COD points, um, really don't co come to me. Like if you if you watch people named Green Goblin HD and and um, uh, who else? Who else? Green Goblin HD. I mean, like lots of YouTubers. If you if you don't know Green Goblin HD, to tune him up. Usually he leaves a link in the description for free COD points for Infinite Warfare and um, um, Black Ops 3. But if he doesn't, go to some of his older videos. Like um, I'd say around like three, four months ago, maybe even a little more. Like around three, four, five, six months ago, around there. You'll see that he has a little intro song called, uh, like, I think it's Want Free Cod Points, Inca, Money, Stop Using Razorback, Listen Here, Buddy. It starts with that. And um, he has free Cod Points, and he says the, in the uh, link in the description. If you're using mobile, I bet you it's a good link to use, but I, I'm not really a mobile user. But I'll be back in just a second, guys. Um, I'm just going to, like, sit in the corner here. I just got to be back in a second. Okay, guys, I'm back. That was really quick because I just had to check on my video because I have like a computer next to me. And like, I might just make a quick vlog on my. Uh, I live in an apartment building, okay? So, 
there's not much to see, but I'll just show you my setup of when I'm gonna make a video. Like, I'll just place everything and I'll show you what I pretty much I use. Cause really, I use a capture card and a mic. I I do once in a while use um webcam, but it's I need a I need to like do something to it. Like we don't use I don't use a webcam no more really. Uh, oh my goodness, he scared me. <laughs> We're losing by like what, like two? They're not losing by much. See, I told you. I I seen a guy just over here, and then there's a guy. I turned back, and then I killed him. By the way, if there's a guy with a pistol versus like a submachine gunner. <laughs> of course the submachine gun is gonna win. And look at me. I just caught us up. I caught us up by three kills. They got a couple extra kills. And I, and I catch, caught us up by three. And then we were tied. And now look. We're tied again. I can't find the one though. I hate it when I'm going around. I can't find the one. And I notice my whole team's around me. Then I have to go across the map. And then go across the map again. I mean that's kind of stupid. And I died. 11 to 9, that's not bad. I mean, that's usually the kind of player I am. I mean, not too many kills, but really not too many deaths. I mean, like, around the same amount of kills and deaths. Usually I rock more more kills than deaths. I said that weird, deaths. And, yeah, that's the kind of player I am. So, don't, don't uh, get mad at me for the kind of player I am. By the way, a fact. Suppressor, you might you might be arguing, oh, but a suppressor's good. Oh no, the suppressor's like the best thing to use. It reduces your like it like so what? It like just it silences you, you go quieter, and it doesn't show up on the mini map. It's the best. Well, still really not the best, because it reduces the range by like twenty percent. So like twenty percent of your range will drop off. Yeah, that's like kind of sad because like, I should start using a few like like hand grenades and eh, it's it's okay to use grenades, not flashbangs and concussions. I mean, like if you're the guy that always uses concussions and people are like like just te like not texting you but like messaging you on Xbox or PS4 or whatever, saying I'm getting so annoyed of you using the concussions. It it's like it doesn't help me. I need like I need to level up. I want to unlock something so bad because like I just need to get better with it. And I need to unlock something or whatever. Then just listen to them. Like concussion and flashbangs, target finders. Like they're, they're not good. I mean like this. They're kind of like the stupidest things really that I have ever seen people use. And I did not even notice I leveled up. If, did I level up in that video? If you guys watched the video, at least tell me if I leveled up. If you made it this far into the video. But, that's really all for today. I might make another video on how to get better on Black Ops 2. Um, but, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a like, subscribe. Um, I usually say this in the beginning, but if you type something in the comment section that I like and I find it is nice thing to say I could pin it to the top and even if I pin you to the top and then I pin somebody else to the top you're still the first one because whoever is the first one to get pinned to the top is in first place still even though it looks like they're in second or third you're still in first place so I hope you guys enjoyed leave a like subscribe tell me a good comment even a good suggestion would be nice I'll still pin it and, uh...